What is the minimum height above the wheel hub that mud must be thrown from the ascending part of a car's tyre in order to be cleared from the wheel? And what is the range of values of the car's constant speed to be where mud will not travel above the top of the wheel? One first, let's consider a small piece of mud that leaves the ascending part of the tyre at a point above the wheel hub. Let's call this point P. 2. That the moment the mud leaves the tyre, it has the same tangential velocity as the tyre at point P. This velocity is given by Vt equal to omega, where it is the radius of the tyre, and omega is the angular velocity of the tyre. Since the car is travelling at a constant speed V, we have V equal to omega, so Vt equal to V. 3. Now, let's analyse the motion of the mud after it leaves the tyre. Since it is no longer in contact with the tyre, it will move under the influence of gravity. The vertical component of its velocity will decrease due to gravity, while the horizontal component will remain constant. 4. Let's denote the height of point P above the wheel hub as h. We want to find a condition for the mud to be thrown clear of the wheel, which means it should not hit the wheel again. This will happen if the mud reaches its maximum height above the wheel hub before it reaches the descending part of the tyre. 5. The time it takes for the mud to reach its maximum height can be found using the equation Vf equal to Vi minus Gt, where Vf is the final vertical velocity zero at the maximum height, Vi is the initial vertical velocity, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and T is the time. The initial vertical velocity is given by Vi equal to V sin theta, where theta is the angle between the horizontal and the line connecting the wheel hub to point P. 6. Solving for t, we get t equal to v sin theta divided by g. Now, let's find the horizontal distance the mud travels during this time. This can be found using the equation x equal to v cos theta t, which gives x equal to v t sin theta cos theta divided by g. 7. For the mud to be thrown clear of the wheel, this horizontal distance should be greater than the horizontal distance between the ascending and descending parts of the tyre, which is equal to the diameter of the tyre, 2 So, we have the condition v to sin theta cos theta divided by g to her. 8. Now, let's express it in terms of theta. We have h equal to a minus cos theta. We want to find the condition on h for the mud to be thrown clear of the wheel. Using the condition we found in step 7 we can write v to sin theta cos theta divided by g to a minus cos theta. 9. Solving for h, we get h got divided by v2. This is the condition for the mud to be thrown clear of the wheel. 10. Now, let's find the range of values of EFO, which mud will not travel above the level of the top of the wheel. This means that the maximum height of the mud should be less than